er lagt i brak I mångfoldige år Og byen har glemt oss I skyggen vi står Men nu er vi tilbake Der vi hører til Tilbake i toppen Verdens vakreste spill Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press For det som er dyrer Og mye av gress Vi er åsene Når kampen er vunnet Når skalpen er tatt Ja da skal vi feire Gal og besatt For dette er klubben Av kjøtt og blod Her finnes ingen stjernenykker Her går vi to og to For vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press For det som er dyrer Og mye av gress Vi er åsene Dette er plassen Dette er mitt sted Overalt i verden Er det her jeg finner fred For her har vi blomstret Her skal vi svinne hen Og selv når vi er borte Så står klubben igjen Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe Guys, welcome back to another stream. Today is Tuesday, May 23rd. We are continuing our Arsane journey. The team is starting to click, guys. This is the title of our stream because it's true. Yesterday I played on my own a few hours after I finished the stream, took a break, went back to it, and um, we had some big, big results. I'm gonna show you everything but uh, before we start I hope you guys are well I hope uh, the day is going well for everyone and um, yep welcome welcome to the stream guys let's go right. so let's go to the schedule after the Lillestrom win three nothing at home we lost in the cup uh, because i played the backups guys uh, we lost three two <clears throat> we started with the backups but second half i um i you know i subbed most of our subs like most of our starters actually uh and we lost three two like i said um it was you know a frustrating game because i wanted this year to make the cup i wanted this year to to get further at least to get to the final or semi-final last year we got we got knocked out in a same in the first round if i remember well it was kind of the same story like this season so yeah um <clears throat> after the cup we beat molde three nothing away guys uh, big result the first big result of the season actually the second because we beat lillestrom too at home three nothing so boy to mellow radio panic guys this guy is insane he's having an insane start of the season 
if you look at his attributes he's not that great let's all agree he's not anything unusual but the numbers eight games 12 goals one assist two player of the match performances 7.86 rating he is up i don't know outstanding like i can't believe what's happening <laughs> like we paid five hundred thousand dollars for him just five hundred thousand dollars and he's just breaking all the records already three nothing away win uh, easy win again at alessund finally we beat alessund with radio pane raholt and slivic on the score sheet and then the big one six one at home win finally against bodoglimt for the first time guys we beat bodoglimt since i took over asane and Boitumelo Radio Pane with four goals. Four goals against Bodo Glimt. Rasmussen, two. So, 6 1. We beat um, our main, main rival, Bodo Glimt. Again, another win at home. 3 0 against Rosenborg. So, they knocked us out from the cup. We beat them in the league with our starters, of course. And Bodker, Radio Pane again, and Rahold on the score sheet surprisingly we lost away at sandefjord after these big results we lost 3-2 at sandefjord uh, we had a poor game overall raholt and torsen on the score sheet raholt guys um the loney from uh, uh, stromgot set he is playing great the numbers are not there because if we're looking at the numbers mm, they're kind of sucking right now if you ask me uh, actually, his, uh, his attributes are going down a little bit. But his numbers are great. 8 games, 4 goals, 7.1 rating. 18 years old, loaned from Stromgoset for 2 seasons. And we're using him as an inside forward instead of uh, his uh, natural position striker. 185 CM, so he's pretty tall. Um, jumping reach 14. Technique 14, so he's good on uh, with the ball. Uh, you know, heading first touch 13. That's that's great. So he he will improve and great potential though. So for now, um, he will uh, he will continue playing as a starter. I think if let me see here last game because we the last game that I played yesterday was a, a win at home again. Many many make games at home we played in the starting of the season this time we beat Valerenga 2-0 and uh, Radio Pane again and Rasmussen on the score sheet uh let me see did we play him oh no Korea was uh starting okay because he played kind of bad against Sandy Fjord and Korea mm, you know didn't do anything noticeable against Valerenga so probably I'm uh, gonna play again as a starter um Raholt for the Hag uh, Haugesund, yeah, the Haugesund game at home, which is next. So this is the update, guys. We pretty much uh, kept the same formation. I didn't want to change anything. Um, I'm uh, I'm gonna play Torsen for the next game as a shadow striker because Rasmussen is tired. Uh, can we play somebody on the left instead of Kongsro? Nope, he has to play. Kamanzi is injured. We're going to jump right in, I think. Yeah, we're going to jump right in. We have to check the training levels. Or no? I guess not. I guess I did it yesterday. Yeah, we're going to jump right in. Let me just double check everything. <laughs> Who is really, really tired. Just Kongsra is really, really tired. Slivic can do it. Zamburek can do it. I'm gonna put Slivic on the bench and do Veti for this one. Let's have some fresh legs in the middle. And what about Botker, Radiopane? Radiopane has to play. Uh, how about Lekovic for Vitel? Let's see which one is more tired. 89, 88. Okay, so... Lekovic for Welsh. All right. We need to rest some some players. Some players really got overplayed. 
and Pereira, uh, Pereira, <laughs> sorry, Korea will start again because Rahold has uh, 91 condition and Korea is on 99, so he's good to go. All right, let's get the three points. Let's start the stream the right way. Let's uh, do a pep talk for the players, answer a few questions for the reporters. I hope we continue our great form. Like I said, we are four points. I, think I didn't say it. <laughs> so yeah, we are four points in front of second place, guys, uh, which is Bodo Glimt. We need to keep that... Uh, that distance. I'm going to show you the league standings right after this game. Surprisingly, it's not raining. Rapo took a shot but blocked. We're controlling the game in the first 10 minutes, which is supposed to be the case. But we did the same thing against Sandy Fjord and then we lost, so. Vettild, Vetti, Kongsro for Andrade, back to Kongsro now. Bad crossing. It was an attempt of a counter attack for Haugesun. Now the back, the ball is back to us. Kvitild, long, long one for Rapo on the right. Very confusing chance for us. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Okay, Andrade is stealing the ball and takes a bad shot. Way over. As you can see, we're five points now in front of Bodoglim, but Bodoglim has a game in hand. Vetti. Good pass for Andrade. Andrade, Radio Pane. Ah, oh, dude. Rapo, Johannes, Gvitild, Kongsro, and one nothing. Uh, let me see here. Might be an offside. Might be an offside. Yep, offside. Rapo. Yeah. It's starting to rain. Thorson. Radio Pane. Zamburek, nice turn. Back to Radio Pane. Radio Pane in the box. Kongsro decided to take a shot. Not a bad one, but still, we can't find a way to, to score the, the, the first goal of the game so we can relax a little bit. But I hope we score before halftime. 
Dorson. Corner kick. And one nothing. Finally, Vitilt. Come on, don't don't cancel this one too. Thank you. This is what we want. A good start. Keep keep up the good form. Put the pressure on them. Hold the hold the possession, you know. Korea is having a good game. Radiopane, good game. Probably he will score again. Thorson with the corner now. Blocked shot. Throw in Johannes, forty third minute. Johannes for. Rapo, Rapo for Thorson and block shot again. Thorson on the left for Lekovic. Decent header. Let's side net. All right, half time. Uh, I'm gonna stay positive and uh, let the players know. Good reaction. Let's start second half. Around 70th minute, we're gonna make some subs due to tiredness. Good steal there by Andradek. Vitild clears the ball. I mean, he tries to clear the ball to Rapo. Oh, and Kongsgro injury. This is not good. Who do we got? We have to play with Gvitild on the left. We don't have a backup left back because everybody is tired or suspended or injured. So Welsh is going to join the game. I hope Gvitild can do a decent job for the rest of the game. Torsten is struggling, but we're going to leave him on the field for another 20 minutes. Andrade, Thorson, Vitild, good pass for Andrade, Andrade tries to cut inside, passing back to Kvitild, Kvitild back to Andrade, a cross, dangerous cross, and uh, Augustin is surviving, Augustin is a new promoted club in Elysian this season. We need to score one more goal. Just to make sure we get the three points. Without any... Surprise... Goal from them.
Johannes, Rappo in the box. Vittild passing to Thorsen and takes a shot. Deflected from Radio Pana and goal kick. Thorsten 6.4. We're going to take him out right after this highlight. Vittel on the left with the cross. Rappo. Ah. Alright, let's make some subs. Okay, so Rasmussen for Thorsen. Uh, for Zamburek. Slivic. And we move Vetti as a deep line playmaker. Uh, well, swells. Maybe 15 more minutes and we make another two subs. Yeah, I have a weird feeling about this game. Like, we need to score one more goal. Otherwise, some stupid goal will happen. And then we, you know, we lose two points at home. Lekovic. And we almost lost it in a dangerous area. But Johannes now. Lekovic again. Vetti, Johannes, for Rappo, Rappo with his speed, and he has good crossing too, Rasmussen, wow, post, but that was so lucky, the ball got to Andrade, and he just hit the post, 19 more minutes, uh, not Andrade, Korea guys, I don't know why I'm confusing him with Andrade. Gvitild. <laughs> Rasmussen. So I don't know why his uh, name on the shirt is Andrade, but his name is Felix Correa. So you tell me, guys. Slivic, Johannes, Vitild, Idiot Minute. All right, we need to make some subs. Last two Rahold for Korea. And we do we have one more? Bot care for Radio Pane. Hoven with the free kick. Mm. Kinda close. Eighty fifth minute. Vetti. Don't play around. Welsh. Slivic. Good pass for Rasmussen in the box. And own goal 2 nothing Deserved. Because we dominated the whole game. So. I know it's kind of lame the way we won. Because we kind of. Had to leave it late. But we'll take it. Another win. In front of the fans.
Well, sh five minutes of extra time. Rasmussen, Rahold, Veti for Vitild. And Rapo, another header. Slivic for Rahold, Rahold, Veti. Slivic. Rasmussen and still nothing comes out of it. Vitild. And three nothing, bot gear. Kind of unnecessary, but I'm happy for bot gear. He gets another one. I think he has three goals already as a backup. Easy, easy win in the end. And Slivic now 96 minutes post from a free kick game over guys we made the uh, the fans really really happy now we wait for bodo glimt result to see if we can go even further in the league standings ahead of them. Let's praise Gvitild for, for, his, uh, for his goal. Also Botger on the score sheet. Kongsro got injured between two and five weeks. Not good. Need to figure it out who is going to be on the bench. Because uh, Kamanzi is injured for another two days. Let's see if Vitil can do it. He can do it, but not well, though. He's a central back, so. Well, we have no choice. We really don't have a choice here. Nielsen on the bench. So in four days we're playing Odd at home. 1st June 2025. Odds is um, on, uh, on the fifth place so we don't have to underestimate them. And we have a tie. After odds, we have a little more time to rest. We have seven days between uh, odds and Christiansen game. And then we have Jerv. We have... After Christiansen, we have a two weeks break. We play um, Jerv on the 29th June. Stabak, Stromgosset, Bran. That's, uh, that's tomorrow. Oh yeah, we are uh, on a good a good winning streak again. Let's uh, put Rasmussen in because Thorsen kind of disappointed. And um, we are trying to sell actually Thorsen. So far no one made any offers. Slivic for 
Zveti, Jahold, Korea. So we played most of our tough ones, tough games already and uh, we did good. I hope we're gonna continue this winning streak until the end of the season if it's possible. We really really need to win the league this, uh, this year. And um, when the window, the transfer window will open up again we need to do some minor adjustments. We need a few more players. Let's see what's the situation of Escobar. Escobar another 12 days injury. Come on, come on, Z. We need you. Hey, Dan, how are you, man? Welcome to the stream. games are coming thick and fast and our players are getting more and more tired all right press conference before odds if we can survive through this game without injuries and suspensions that would be great because then we have seven days to rest to get our energy back for Christian Sund. These two games are not easy. Like I said, odds are fifth in the league right now, and Christian Sund sixth. So, two teams that are aiming for Europe, I guess, for the next season. Ah, uh, five to eight days injury for Rasmussen. Not now, dude. Please, Kamanzi is back, but God. We have to play Thorsen again. I hope he's gonna deliver because lately he's playing really bad. He's not the same Thorsen like last, uh, last season. Not even close. That's why we want to sell. Bestmurf, welcome to the stream, man. No worries, dude. Enjoy the game. I hope you guys are going to win. Anyways, the stream will be two hours, guys. So we are already 37 minutes into the stream. So you're going to be here for the most of the stream, uh, Bestmurf. Thank you for being here. Alright. Mm. 
monthly financial update so we have 2 million over 2 million in the bank um soon in three weeks maybe maybe a month we're gonna start the qualifiers for the europa league if i'm not mistaken first let's see the league standing here so bodo gleam didn't play their game yet they still have most of the teams they didn't play their their game in hand okay You guys are gonna play a good team, or yep, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, man, we'll uh, we'll try to stream every day in, in case of uh, <laughs> shenanigans with the internet. You know, I can't do anything about that. But otherwise, I'll be here every day, man. So yeah, uh, what else? What else? I wanted to see. Yeah, the. Europa League starting date. This is what I wanted to. Rules. Not yet. So they're not going to show you anything here on the league info yet. But I think we're going to play straight into the playoff, guys. This is what I think. We finished third. We need a little luck. Because if we're gonna play against a big big team, no chance for us to to qualify. And I only care about the money that we're gonna get from uh, Europa League. We already know we're not good enough to get to the uh, later stages of the competition, you know. So we need that money to improve the team. So Boitumelo Radiopan, of course, he got uh, the award of the best player in the league for um uh, for may for the month of may scoring six goals in five games what a signing that's why i was uh insisting for this transfer in the beginning of the season because i knew at current ability 117 he will uh he will be a way way better option than um you know than the kid uh bot care as a starter Bodger is still probably going to be better than Radiopane in the future, but for now he's not. He's just 18, guys. So Radiopane is a South African international with a lot more experience. He is uh, taller, he's stronger, better finishing, better dribbling, you know. Uh, and with room to improve because he still has, uh, you can see here on the right, four stars. Um, potential actually let's double check the the coaches oh close to full potential so i take that back i didn't didn't read this before so he is um close to his max potential but we signed him for yeah it will show in august i think best murphy yeah, the the information you're right like exactly like last season but we sign him for 400k so right now his price tag is between 950,000 and 3.2 million so definitely uh if we if we decide to sell we're gonna try to sell for no less than 2 million based on the numbers based on the numbers right now because he is the goal scorer of the league uh 12 goals in so the second guy the second place uh, is Willemson with seven goals. So five goals in front of the second place. And he's just like in just nine games. So congratulations to Radio Pan. I got the award for the head coach of the month of May. The, uh, the, the chairman is very, very satisfied with this. Let's continue. Odds is always a tough opponent.
Yes, I will best smurf Riste. <clears throat> Let's see. Riste, Riste. I don't think he's here. Riste. Anders Hartwit Riste. Oh, he's there. No, he's there. And he's very good. Damn. My God, what what a player. Let's scout. Can we scout? We can scout. Damn. 122 Heart weight Riste Let's see just uh, just let's play around. Let's see how much should we Pay in case we want to get him. Uh, yeah, they want 5.75 million No chance for us uh, How many goals he scored? Let me see here Six games, six goals. Really, really good player. Five caps for the under 21s. Four goals. 20 years old. Born in May 28, 2005. So he just turned 20 years old. He was 19. Very, very good player. See, this is, this is when I, I hate not having enough money, man. Because I would just pull the trigger right now and get him, you know. Yes, I, I'm i pretty sure you want to get him too, yeah. <laughs> That's more, he's really good. Actually, let me put him on the short list for future. You never know. In the future, we might have money in the future. Anders Hartwig Riste, very good Norwegian. And look at the salary, just 71k. Oh my god. We could definitely afford his salary. Man, they don't want a loan, of course. I want to ask the board for more. Okay, increase transfer budget. All right, let's check the training levels before the game. How much money do you have at Brun right now, Bessmurf? You're probably season 5, right? Season 4 or season 5, not sure. But you said you won 3 times the title, so... Or you're probably season 5 right now. One season ahead of me. But I'm catching up, dude. <laughs> I'm catching up. Soon I'm gonna... Be reaching season 5 too. Past. Okay. <laughs> you didn't play too much lately. Okay. Let's check for additional trainings. Improve his crossing. control for Johannes ball control for Lekovic corners for Haugen
Rasmussen injured, so not now, later. He didn't have time. That's okay. You know, you don't you're not under pressure like me cuz I really want to win the Champions League by November, so I have to keep on streaming. All right, game time. We have to most likely, yeah, we're going to play Kamanzi on the left as a complete wing back on the left. He is a very versatile anyways. We are going to rest Vitild. He deserves to rest. Welsh and Lekovic are going to be our central defenders. But Lekovic is injured, is uh, tired too. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 82. Let's see. Vitil, 80. Man. Okay, Held and Nielsen. When you, have, when you play tired players... Uh, they get get it, they get injured guys Johannes 79 god we have to play Haugen we'll take the risk guys we have to take this risk we have four points in front of Bodo Glimt, so we need to to rest some players this guy 86 uh Rappo, 86. Alright, we'll play Gusias. We'll start with Gusias. Yeah, I, we have to, because otherwise they're going to get injured. And uh, in the middle, Veti. Let's see, Veti. Veti is 86. Zamburek, 87. Huh. Slivic. Slivic is good is 91 okay we're gonna try it like this guys it's gonna be tough but we have to we have to take the risk yes exactly they will get injured or they will not recover from uh, the tiredness you're right that's Murph. odds is a tough tough opponent but if we're playing our football, uh, we should win. Even with uh, some of the backups on the field, you know. Okay, uh, we owe odds because last time they won against us, so we need to take our revenge. One minor adjustment that I want to do is put this guy as a winger, not inside forward. Gusias. All right. We are ready. A few questions here for the press. Really believe everyone at this club wants to achieve the same objectives. We've got the best fans. All right. And man, that guy Riste. I hope he's not going to have a good day. He looks amazing. Gusias, he's the third choice for this position. So, and of course, it's raining, guys. We love the rain here in Bergen. Kamanzi on the left. Kamanzi very aggressive. Tries to cross the ball for Torsen. Torsen is marked very well by Stanisic. Riste. You need to keep an eye on that kid. Oh, so from what I'm seeing here, Bodo Glimt lost their game. Lost their last game. Damn. So now we're seven points in front of them. Wale Egeli. The brother of Egeli that uh, played for us. Oh, and uh, first big chance for odds. Now is the time to to get another win. Now uh, this kind of games are making us champions, guys. These games with against the small teams are gonna 
count at the end of the season when we're gonna have only two three points in front of uh, our rivals or when it's the the chase is gonna be really really tight so we already have a yellow card let's see Gusias and Haugen Ousu with the cross. Oh, snap. Yep. Who else? Then Riste. 20th minute. We couldn't mark him. We couldn't stop him. Seven games, seven goals for Riste. Yes. We have to win this kind of games. I agree, Best Murph. Man. Big mistake here by um, Welsh. Our backups, our bench is still not good enough uh, compared to the starters. And we are struggling really bad right here. We see not a big chance for odds. Person and uh, Rugland Re saves the day. If it would have been 2 nothing, I think our chances to get something from this game would have been really, really small. Let's hope we can get the tie before halftime. Kamanzi here. Welsh. Welsh with a beautiful pass here to Radiopane. Haugen. Haugen for Raholt. Ah... Haugen is uh, having a horrible, horrible game. And yellow card. Gusias also. Both of them. Our right flank is not... Is not um, playing well. Alright, I need to make us like some changes. Because this is going to get uglier. Okay, so Rapo has to play. You need to step in. Um, Johannes for Haugen. Both yellow cards and both are playing like like shit. So we need to we need to uh, risk now. Even with tired players, they need to they need to step in. Otherwise, this game is gonna be a loss. Come on, guys. Right, we have a corner kick now. Slivic. Welsh. Ah, so close. So close. 15 minutes left from the first half. Bodo Glimt is still tying at Jerv. Zambure. Oh, close to getting a red card there. Raholt in the box. Come on, cross it. The why? Why you didn't cross that? Because you don't have a left foot. That's why. And now counter attack for odds. Can we survive? Vidigal, Nielsen, Zamburek, Slivic, and somehow. We survive. Rapo. Rapo for Radio Pane. One on one chance. And Golazzo. That's why we paid the money, guys. Who else? We have a new follower. Nam. NG, Nam NG94, thank you for following. Welcome to the stream. Yes, best Merv Golazzo. Rahold for Kamanzi. Kamanzi cuts inside. Hmm.
Counterattack for odds. Ah, that was not a penalty. Get up. Welsh yellow card. And halftime 1-1. One, one. Okay, so after we subbed... Um, after we subbed in Johannes and Rapo, we played better and we scored. Alright, let's see. So far, so good. Good reaction for the players. Second half. Oh my god, what was that? Rugland. Welsh. Zamburek. Raholt. Zamburek. Torsen. Torsen for Rapo in the box. Rapo! Radio, radio. And again, Radio Pan. Or Radio Pan. I don't know how you pronounce it. 2 1. This is what I'm talking about. And uh, Rapo is starting to uh, starting to step up his game lately. Very good performances, and look at this assist right here. This guy is unstoppable, Radio Pan guys. Unstoppable. So we were down one nothing, and Radio scored two goals. Thorson in the box. Slivic, Slivic, Kamanzi, Kamanzi cuts inside. Ah. They have an injury. Good for us. I hope he's a very good player, so they have to sub him. They're going to get weaker and weaker by the minute. We're starting to control the game more and more. That was not the case in the first half. Ah, Rista again. No, 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 no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. very dangerous striker. Zamburek. Thorsen. Welsh, Slivic, Rapo on the right. Oh, what was that? Come on, guys, pay attention. Vidigal in the box. And Heltner Nielsen with the clearance. 63rd minute. We're still not out of the woods. Slivic. Torsen. Rapo. Rapo. Pass it. Slivic. Torsen. Why? Why you take a shot with, a, with the defenders in front of you? It's a stupid, stupid choice. All right, Zamburek is very tired, like on a verge to getting injured, but I don't have anybody to sub him with. Oh God, dude. Thank you. Thank you, Rugland, with the save. Wow. Egan uh, is struggling, Johannes. Can't do anything about that too, because I stopped him 
with Haugen already. 6-3 Thorsen. I mean, seriously, dude. I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, okay, Veti for Zamburek. Uh, Botger for Thorsen. He can do it. And Korea for Raholt. Uh, Riste. Free kick. Oh my god, Rugland was there. 88 minutes. We need to survive a few more minutes here four minutes of extra time guys seven points we're seven points in front of bodoglint they have a game in hand though so if they win their game in hand we're back at four points andrade slivic yeah we need to hold on Johannes Rapo, Rapo, Radio Pan. Twenty seconds, guys, and we get the win against Odds. This would be our third win in a row. Come on, Livic with the corner. All I can say we is that we have a great start of the season. Full time W three points. And who else brought us the three points than Radio Pan or Radio Pan? Our hero. Well done. I'm not going to go uh, negative after this game. Even though we weren't at our best, I'm going to praise them regardless. Uh, you have to understand we had so many tired players and definitely Bodo Glimt struggled against Jerv. They almost, almost tied. They got the win, but man. Three red cards for Jerv and only one nothing. Three red cards. <laughs> and Bran beat Lillestrom 1-0. Bran is third. 17 points and one game in hand. Okay, Besmer. Alright, so let's praise Radio Pan for his goals. Fourteen goals in ten games. This guy's insane. And Rappo with two assists. Great job, man. <laughs> Moving on. Now we have a break. Seven days between this game and Christian Sund. Players need to get their energy back. This is going to be an away game. It will be tough. As we can see here, we play Sandefjord away and we lost, guys. We lost 3-2. When we played away at Rosenborg, we lost 3-2. So we don't like to play away too much. <laughs> we are 1 hour and 8 minutes into today's stream. We're going to go for 2 hours, guys. Okay, Olisa Nda, his own loan at Viking. 
he is improving a little bit 27 years old we might get some money for him at the end of the season we are paying him a lot of money on 143,000 per year so definitely we need to get rid of that well she suspended for the next game this is not good Vitild back in the squad Johannes uh, Korea Rahul didn't impress me at all last game Okamazi is gonna stay on the left for now until we have Escobar back Escobar is gonna be back in exactly seven days Rasmussen in three days so maybe he will be available for the Christiansen game who knows Rappo I hope so I hope so because Thorsen is just horrible lately horrible Hans Peter Hopaning. <clears throat> So we're gonna play Christiansen and Jerv guys and after the Jerv game uh, we will end the stream we have time uh, most likely we have time to play both both of these uh, games I'm hoping to get the three points in both of them and to keep the distance between us and Bodo Glimt in the league feels good to be first i tell you that but when the europa league starts then we're gonna have more more games to play which means more and more players are gonna get tired suspended injured and then uh, in the league guys we're gonna have issues like last year so the difference is um, this year we are gonna pay attention only to the league last year we wanted to get the money from the champions league we failed to get into the champions league we managed to qualify to the europa league group stage but this year we don't care this year we want to win the league we want to win the league title for the first time in our history and then whatever happens happens but we really really need to be champions this season so uh, in europe we're gonna play the backups you know a mix between backups and starters depending of the form depending of the energy of the players at the time welcome back best Smurf. you're getting closer to to uh living i know your game is gonna be happening soon we're almost done here too i mean not almost but in 40 minutes 45 minutes we'll be done we're gonna play this last two games and we're ending the stream
Okay. So they rejected our request for more money. Let's see. See, like we have money in the bank while the club finances remain in the state they currently are. We cannot consider this. Thanks. So, Gvitild, Rugland, Re, Slivic, and Petrovic are gonna play in the Euro 2000, uh, Euro under 21 championship finals. Yes, Bessmurf, please do that. I'm uh, curious to, uh, to see if you guys are uh, gonna win or. You know, whatever happens, let me know. I know it's a tough game, so. So Lillestrom beat Molde away. Molde is not having a great, great season so far. Bodo Glimt has one game less than us. Herman Haugen injured. This guy, his last six months for us, playing for us, he is just, you know, just a guy on the bench. He will never be anything good. But we needed bodies. The target for next year is to improve even our uh, quality on the bench, guys. Uh, in this in these games, where the difference between the teams is so so small, um, having a strong bench will will definitely be decisive in winning the league title and winning the cup. In you know going for the European spots. Almost game time. The third game of the stream. We have another subscriber. Perfect Paddock, thank you for joining the stream, thank you for following, really appreciate it. Alright, press conference before the game. And another injury. I have no idea why we pick up so many injuries lately because I updated our staff here and we have instead of just three physios now we have six. 
No, five. But we have the chief doctor too, so. So we have this dude, Christopher Holmgren, who is our head physio. We have... Hold on a second. We have Gabor Barta, Pony. We got Bjorgvin Ajolfson, 20. Christoph, 20. And Nilsson, 20. So I don't understand. We still get injuries, guys. game day we're traveling to christian sund and we hunt for the three points guys let's see how we're gonna line up Escobar is coming back from his injury in one day. We have to take out Gusias from the uh, from the bench. Haugen has to stay on the bench even though he's he's still injured. We'll check again the training levels. We have Gvitild. We have Welsh training really, really well. Slivic. 925, 930, 965. This is what we want. Botker here. Also 905. Many players are giving their best in training. Thorson. Come on, Thorson, you need to step up, man. It's time for you to get back to the old good days from last last season. Last year, Thorson was unstoppable. Either he was scoring, assisting. Very, very uh, good player. This year, not so much. Right, let's check for additional training really quick. We are ready so um, we're gonna start with Rugland in the goal Kamanzi, Gvitil, Lekovic, Johannes, Zamburek, Slivic, Rasmussen, Korea, Rapo and Radio Pan this is uh, this is the lineup uh, we should get the three points Bodo Glimt is playing at Brann. This is a big game because it's a 
it's it's gonna be a tight one definitely bodo glimt uh, has a has a chance to drop more points ideally it would be a like a tie one one zero zero doesn't matter for and we should win this this way we we can go to nine points nine points ahead of them all right We don't play too well when we're playing away from home. Let's uh, let's change that. Fifteen minutes and no highlights. This is not good. Yellow card for Kamanzi. Also not good. Because we don't have a backup there. Johannes Lekovic Jesus. Slivic free kick. Radiopan. Oh big, big chance for us. Slivic corner kick, 29th minute. Easy. We don't want a red card. Rapo. Kamanzi. Willemson. Uh, offside? No? We're good? Okay. And Rugland with the save. 6 4 Kamanzi, 6 5 Johannes. Man, what's wrong with our defense? Vitild. Pass. Okay, Slivic. Rapo, take a shot, take a shot. And penalty, no? We're good, we're good. It looked to me like a clear penalty, but now it's a big chance for Christian Sund. And Rugland again. Huge save. And yellow card probably for Radio Pan. Kamanzi Rasmussen. Rasmussen, very good first touch here. Tries to keep the ball. Passing to Andrade. Andrade for Zamburek. Oh, no, no, no. Zamburek. Oh, and we get the ball back. Andrade. Or Korea. Like I said, his name is Korea, but on the shirt, the name is Andrade. Rasmussen free kick. Christiansson is holding the lines really, really well. Zamburek. Slivic. Slivic. Deflected in corner. What a shot. We're getting closer to the end of first half and still 0-0 very tight game here at Christian Sund all our 
four players are tired. Kamanzi with 6-4, Korea 6-4, Radio Pan 6-4, Lekovic 6-5. Uh, well done on controlling possession so far, okay. Good reaction. Even though I am not satisfied with what's happening so far. Six three Kamanzi. I mean I can do Gvitild on the left and Nielsen in a center. Korea put Rahold in and let's wait for other subs for another 20 minutes let's see what's gonna happen Has the Nielsen and Gvitild. All our defenders have yellow cards. Shit. Zamburek, Raholt, Raholt on the left. Passing to Gvitild. Gvitild for Zamburek, Rasmussen, and corner kick. I mean, at this point, the way we play and uh, based on our ratings, I'm okay with a tie. I just don't want to lose the game, you know. Zamburek. Radio Pan 6-3. Okay, so... Well, after this highlight, I'm gonna stop him. Bot gear is warming up. Ah, counter attack for Christian Sund. And Helden and Nielsen, don't make a mistake, please. Good. Let's uh, rebuild from the back. Vitild. Pass. Zamburek. Oh, God. Vitild. Raholt. Don't lose it there. Good. Good. Slivic. Rapo. Rapo. What the hell are you doing? All right. Let's give both care 24 minutes of game game playing time uh who else needs uh to sub let's see maybe vetti thorson for rasmussen maybe yeah let's try thorson for rasmussen Zamburek. Let's survive. Let's survive, guys. Cross. All right, good. Demand more from everyone. Our defense really sucks this game. The last 13 minutes. Do we have any more subs available? Let's see. You have one more. Okay. Slivic Zamborek is playing well. Haugen for Johas Johannes. Okay. 
84th minute. Now let's just get one point, guys. Let's not lose this game. No more pressure on you to get anything. Just hold the lines. Just get one point. Okay, best Smurf. See you, man. Good luck for the game. Talk to you soon. Botker, Haugen, Thorsen, Thorsen! <sighs> We're five points right now in front of Bodoglim, but they have a game in hand, so if they win their game, we're gonna be just two points, guys. They're coming. Coming back. It's not gonna be easy. Definitely. Three minutes of extra time here. Left. Pitilt, Haugen. Haugen, very good pass here for Rappo. Can we score a lucky, lucky goal? Botker in the box. Rappo. Slivich, Slivich takes a shot and blocked. Oh, nope. That was uh, way over, actually. And anytime the referee will end this, we lost two points here or we won one based on the numbers. We have to take whatever we can. It was a tough, tough travel. Uh, let's just go easy on the players. Unlucky. So Bodo Glimt now is five points behind us. If they win their game in hand, they're gonna be just two points. They beat Bran away. Big win for Bodo Glimt. Who said it's gonna be easy? Yeah, it's not gonna be easy, guys. It's gonna be a fight until the end of the season. Bodo Glimt uh, didn't win the league in two years. So... They feel now this is uh, the right time for them to push because Molde also has a slow start so far. So after 11 games, we have 9 wins, 1 draw, 1 loss. We're going to keep pressing continue. We play one more game today, guys. And we're going to end the stream. So we have a two weeks break. Actually, more than two weeks. We have 19 days. Oh, my God. <laughs> 19 days. Uh, all right. Let's let's uh, let's play the game. Although I'm leaning to end the stream right now. Because, man, we have to sit through all this. Two weeks. More than two weeks break. Yeah. Whatever, let's uh, let's play the Jerv game at home and then uh, we're going to end the stream there. Let's get one more win. Now, definitely, we're going to have all the players available, rested, fresh. Uh, can't complain with that. Actually, let me go even further and give some resting days to... Let's do Radio Pan uh, training. I'll give you rest. Let's do four days of rest. Rasmussen. Four days also. Uh, Zamburek, you really needed to. Slivich. Who else? Rapo. Four days.
Johannes. And Welsh. Okay. They need this uh, this break. Mentally, they really, really need to disconnect from football for a while just to come back stronger and, you know, give us their best. Like I said, this fight against uh, Bodo Glimt is going to be very tight until the end. In August, the transfer window will reopen. By then, I hope our chairman is going to make more funds available for us to improve the squad a little bit. Get a little more players... Um, at least for the bench and this guy is so good but we don't have the money to get him Theodor Bota 18 years old man wait what really 625,000 that would be great if we can snatch him We have only 121,000. Increase the payroll at least, maybe. Samuel Kalu. Huh. Samuel Kalu. 121. 27 years old. But he's making way too much. You're making almost a million, dude. We would love to get you. Auxerre, Angers, and Toulouse. Okay, let's try to do the same thing. Let's see how much money you're gonna ask us and said no definitely no Dione Sisto what Dione Sisto available for free Danish used to be a wonder kid guys 26 caps for Denmark But if we if we get Pione Sisto, then we have to unregister. Hmm. Let's see. If, first of all, let's see how much he's asking. Oh, yeah. Definitely, we don't have the money. He's asking for almost four hundred thousand, dude. Max low. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. Such a good player. Such a good player. But he's making 2.4 million. 2.14 million per year. Dominic Yanko, we already know. Rodrigo Muniz. Gravion. Mm -hmm. This guy. This guy is awesome. He's making 1.77 million. That's why we can't touch these players because we are a small, small club. We can only loan Benji Tete Corradini. Nah. 
it's always good to take a look at the uh, suggestions here by our scouts. You never know, you might you might get something valuable. Jello. Anderson. M Muharemovic. We we had this guy last year, but we couldn't register him in the end. Hannibal. <laughs> Available for loan. Hannibal. Let's try. Let's try. Yeah, good luck with that. 900,000. 900,000. Yep. Nothing. Nothing good. I mean, a lot of good players, but nothing that we can touch. We're still very far away from the real, real football. If I can, if I can, you know, express, express, like, express it like that. You know, the the real quality teams in Europe are spending a lot of money, or at least they spend two to three million per season. The mid-table teams, you know, we can't even spend. 500,000 we barely can spend 500,000 and when we do that for us that's a lot of money so yeah can't afford anyone our stature in the game is small our budget is small few years ago like three years ago we were a semi-professional club and we're getting closer to two hours today one hour and 46 minutes into the stream and he said no to more money for our wages let's try to insist a little bit and he said no again Do we have anybody interesting under 19s? Let's see. This is the best guy that we can come up with. Our youth, youth recruitment is horrible. go to the under 19 Look at Bodo Glimt. Bodo Glimt is selling. Probably is gonna, they're gonna sell their goalie 
with 4.8 million. Actually, 6.75 million. So this is how much money Bodo Glimt are working with. That's the big difference between us and them financially. Okay, so for the next game, Welsh is back and Kamanzi on the right, Escobar on the left, Consgro on the bench. Yeah, it's gonna be back in two days, that's good. Dylan Torsten. Okay, so the Europa Conference League first qualifying round draw is happening soon. So most likely we're going to find out if we play in the uh, playoff of the Europa League or the third qualifying round. No lower than that. If we qualify again into Europa League league phase, we're going to get around 3 million. So add that to 1.8, almost 5 million in our budget definitely is not going to hurt. Damn, 9.5 million. Fulham is really trying to get their goalie. Wonder Kid goalie. Gvernemo. Great, great Norwegian goalie. Region, of course. Rosenborg Strom goes set 1-1. One, one. Rosenborg only on the 10th place. Very, very slow start for them. Eleven million from Dortmund, man, they're gonna make a lot of money. They got an eleven million offer from Borussia Dortmund for Vernemo. Hmm. We dropped. 18 places to 289th position in the new European club rankings. Okay, so now I think we can see the bigger picture here. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be the third qualifying round, guys. Oh boy, not good. not good we might not get into the europa league this season
Last year we exceeded expectation in Champions League. We knocked out Galatasaray in the second qualifying round. And then we got knocked out by Ajax in the third round. But because of the Galatasaray win, we managed to get straight into Europa League, League phase, guys. This season is a different story. We have two qualifying rounds to play in order for us to see if we can uh, play European games this year. Vernemo, this guy right here. 11 million for Vernevo. Oh my god, dude. He's 145 current ability at only 18 years old with 16 caps already for Norway. So definitely he is worth way more than 11 million. Way more. Hopefully in the future we're going to be able to, to buy this kind of players. Eleven days to go. Rahul injured for one day. Okay, so his salary, Radio Pan's salary, is gonna get to 250,000 per year because he is one cap away from having five appearances for the national team. <laughs> Hoffenheim is after me. No, thank you. Tempting, tempting offer, but we need to stay here in Norway. We need to stay put. Need to create a legacy here in 
Bergen at Asane. We promised the fans that we're going to bring the European glory, but we can't leave now. Rapo gets salary hike. He already played five times for South Africa. So now he's earning 260,000 per year at Asane. He is improving a lot, honestly. Let's see here the reports. Could improve a lot in the future, so still a lot of room for improvement. When we sign him, I said that before. Um, PSV was interested. Sporting. Uh, there were like three or four big clubs after him, so I was surprised when they decided to sell and to sell you know to like and i was <clears throat> surprised when he accepted our offer you know so maybe he's the right replacement in the end for Egeli. i was not so sure in the beginning of the season but now more and more i see a player that is really really improving very very fast and uh we got him for four years guys so would Egeli at some point uh, you know like his loan expired at some point we couldn't hold him anymore anyways so we needed to take a decision really really fast either buy this kid or keep loaning players and you know struggling this way i like what i'm seeing lately from rapo so in the future we might sell him for a you know for a big fee for a lot of money that's all up to him if he keeps playing like this definitely big clubs are gonna be trying to like you know steal him away from us nine days away until our last game of the stream we're already two hours into our session today We're probably going to go for two hours and a half. By the time we finish uh, the game against Jerv, definitely we're going to reach two hours and 30 minutes of streaming time. Let's see. Almost everyone is really re-energized, fresh. Let's see, Domingos. Can we do anything? Ah, he's joining Hammarby. He would have been great for us. But he decided to join Hammarby. Let's see what we got on our short list. Niko Balac. What a player. 2.2 million. Royce. Gordilio. Runar Hauge. Oh yeah, Runar Hauge is going to join us very soon. Opening. Try again for this kid, maybe?
we don't have the money Okay, you don't want to sign, good day to you then. One week away, come on. Playing at home in front of the fans. Christiansen beat Valerenga 3 0. I'm curious when Bodo Glimt is gonna play their game in hand. Yeah, they have way better players than us. What are we talking about here? Oh my god. Everyone is almost better than... Yeah, and let's check for a little bit there. So they're worth 82 million. We're not even half what they uh, they worth. Gonzalo Plata, who is this guy? Oh my god, 131 rentability. And somehow we beat them at home. We beat them 6 1 at home. Romak. This guy is insanely good. What? What? Really? No, require no contribution or monthly fee. Okay. Uh, star player. Okay. Please. Sign. Are you kidding me? Look at this player right here. If this guy signs with us for two years, I would be the happiest coach alive. Oh my god, Wonder Kid. Nobody is signing him yet. Wow. Pe Pero Romac from Stibenik. Please don't be a jerk and sign with us. Man, that would be a great, great signing. Okay. 
Okay. So they reschedule our game. Ah. Uh, they rescheduled the game against Jerv, guys. Which means that we're gonna have another 15 days to wait until our next game. So with that being said, we waited for nothing because I will not wait for another two weeks guys to play that game. We're just gonna press continue until that kid is gonna make up his mind. Let's see if we can sign him and then we will end the stream right after. Sorry for that. That's, that's a schedule change. Unexpected schedule change here in the Norwegian First League. I was very excited to play one more, but it is what it is. I always like to end the stream with a win, but I guess it's not possible. Not possible today. Wait, we're playing in Conference League? How is this possible? Why we're playing in Conference League? We finished third last season. This is crazy. This is weird as hell. Makes absolutely no sense. Like, you finished third, you should play in Europa League, not Conference League. Man, Pero Romach. He's making just $300 per year. One cap for Croatia. That should tell you what kind of player this guy is. Wow. 17 tackling, 16 technique, 18 bravery, 17 balance. Man. I have a feeling of a, I have a bad feeling about this deal. I think he's going to say no. And I'm surprised they they don't require any money for the loan and I'm surprised they're loaning him first of all. And he said yes. Wow. For two years, we get to have Pero Romac accept. 
Unbelievable signing, guys. Oh my god. I guess he decided to sign with us because we play in Europe. Otherwise, I don't see the connection. Man, what a signing. Our new right back. Now we have to find a way to register him. And it's a free loan on top of everything. We don't spend any money on him. One cap for creation, first national squad at 17. He will join in August, one month and a half away. Actually, not even. Less than that. Tomorrow, when we start a stream, guys, we will... Um, we will have this guy on our squad because I'm, uh, I'm gonna play uh, on my own today for a few hours. Until he's gonna join, uh, I will give him a real face, of course. This guy is a future world-class right back, right here. Fairly strong left foot, very strong right foot. How many p games he played already for Sibenik? Oh, okay, so they relegated in the second league, that's why he signed with us. Last season, he played 26 games at 16 years old for uh, Sibenik in the first league of Croatia they relegated and now this is the reason they loan him to us wow crazy crazy turn of events here at Asana guys but that's it for today uh, we are gonna end it here I appreciate it guys for uh, hanging out tomorrow same time, we're going to continue uh, our journey. Uh, tomorrow, we are hoping to sign more players. The window, the transfer window will be open. I hope uh, we're going to sell Torsen, raise some funds, and then with that money, we can, you know, get some, some backups at least. Because the European games are approaching and we definitely need more players in. Until tomorrow, guys, enjoy the rest of the day and take care. Bye-bye.